I will take questions now. Okay. Sheer? Hello, Taku. How are you? Very well, Sheer. How are you? I am great. Um, I want to ask you, I know that uh, there are a couple of species that are listening to my phone, and sometimes <laughs> I hear weird um, noises and sounds, and sometimes they would just hang out to my phone if I would speak about them or something. Um, can you tap to my phone? Like, I, can, I can tell you what is going on. It is not necessarily other species, but your government. You are a government figure. You have written to the governments, you've spoken to them, and therefore they want to know your agenda. And therefore your phones will have some interference, not that they are completely tapped, but there are certain times a day when they perceive certain calls to certain people that they would want to listen to. I see. And also I know that um, there was assistance that was sent to you by Remulac. The field. There was assistance by Remulac and Amok as well. Yeah, they feel that uh, maybe some someone sent you a binary code to steal information from your communi communication systems. They were just uh, wondering about it. The binary yeah. code has been encrypted, so it's not been compromised. I see. Um, Anyway, a couple of days ago I was channeling, I think it was a group of angels, because they speak through me in a light language, I believe. I'm just wondering if you know who they were. Cause that was not the Elohim, but it was... Ah, in the best part. <laughs> it's just they a build of uh, We just lost him. I they dropped again, know. didn't they? Yeah, it was, yeah. and then he's gone. It was, it was a sensible moment. Slava. Some issues. Slava, welcome. Speaking of gratitude, I'd like everyone to say thank you to Slava. <laughs> For all the wonderful, fabulous work he does on Human Colony website. I'm so glad you're here today for all of us to thank you together. Thank you, Slava. Thank you, Slava. You, the site would not be what it is without you. Thank you. Makoto Yashania. Does anybody want to speak any languages or say anything? Koyoto Yamali Asatiya Alura Shatiya Nakitu. Sure, sure. Alura Yans from the Khans and the Ahanche Kafu Hank from Yasati Kato Rukoni Sha Algunsta. Do we still have a place for Jim? Yeah. yeah. No, we don't. Jim now. I'll drop out. I'll drop oh, out. So oh, Jim. I was say is there a spot? Okay. No. I didn't even count. Go ahead, Roxy. No, I was just saying thank you to Karen oh. <laughs> for dropping it. If everybody could put their energy towards um, Jim's... Yes, that is true. Oh, is he back? Okay. Hello, Taker. Hello. Hello, Taker. Let's keep our energy on the open channel for uh, Jim. He's back. I know. I just want to keep it that way. You can mute if you want. 
problems you are having today. Okay, everything's looking good now. Uh, if we could get uh, another question, perhaps, or resume yeah. though we were cut off. If we're not finished, I don't remember. Uh, Tiko, can I just, we will just drop out when you told me who did I channel? It was a group of angels from the third realm. Ah, they said they were angels. I see. Um, Gahil was one of them. Gahil. Really? He's not from the Nine Realm or something like that? I do not know all their names, except Gahil has stepped forward to say that he was there. Ah, okay. Well, thank you very, very much. I will drop to leave some space, and thank you for everything that you do. You are welcome. Thank you for all that you do as well. You're welcome. Hello, it's Okay, hey, Stephen. Stephen. Is Hello. this Stephen? Yes. Much love, Hokun Chatita. Karoto An. Thank you. I was wondering uh, if you have uh, um, any uh, uh, any uh, information about the re last time I went to the colonies uh, holographically and any messages from any of my kids. Uh, thank you. You did not go holographically. Um, you went astrally. We tried to do the holographic, but it did not work. Um, the holographic has not worked yet on anybody but about three or, well, actually, ten people made it in that had third dimensional energies that were very high, but they did not stay long because it dissipated from them. Your children, on the other hand, are doing very well. They are very happy, and one of them is very... And, Mathematically inclined. I will speak to you about that some other time. Thank you, Dicker. Much love. Pass my. Christy? Hello, Dicker. This is Christy. Hello, Christy. Um, yes, I was wondering, I, I had a question about um, my infusions. And yes. Um, have I had any? I'm new to Hukalo and uh, it's been a couple months since I signed up, and I was just wondering, uh, sort of, kind of where I'm at with that. You have not received any infusions yet that I am aware of, but you did ask for some. We would like to know what you would prefer. Okay. Um, can I think about that? Which one? And then just yes, you see, we know that you do not know which one that you would prefer. So instead of giving you something random, we would like to ask your permission to use whichever one first that you would like to have. Okay. Is there one that you can uh, recommend for me first to help me decide or direct? My, my first thought was Fendorian because I believe that you need a brightening of your chakras and a and a brighter feeling in the body. Yes, that is true. And also it will help with clarity of mind, it will increase the IQ a couple points and give you a greater communication stance. And also I think you need those as well right now. That is true. Okay. That sounds that would be that would be the my choice then. Very well. It will start Kirakawashiki Minya Kawaranda. They will start that next week, Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Thank you so much, and it's so good to meet you. Namaste. Good to meet you as well. Namaste. Noha. Greetings, greetings, Tikur. Uh, this is Noha. How are Noha, you doing? Noha, how are you? And how's everybody? Uh, my question regarding the colony: Have I been taken holographically? Holographically? No. No one has. Him made it through holographically as of yet and they're not oh. sure what the problem is so we are looking for answers and right now sabotage is not one of the answers because we cannot find any yes second question please any messages for me regarding my upgrade and ascension and opening up into channeling your, up like that. your upgrade is working very well. Your channeling is coming along even though you do not feel it or understand it. 
the uh, passages of your channeling are there. You, it is your belief system that is holding you back a little bit. You have no one to channel with, and therefore you are uh, doubting if channeling is something that is recommended at this time. It will come a time when there will be people that need the words from outside your personal. Hello? I think we have lost them again. No, 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 it's cutting, it's cutting. Just repeat the last part, please. Yep, I, we can hear you. Oh, very well. Did you hear me? No, 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 it's cutting off. That's why. I think they said. Well, the time will come when it is necessary for you to channel, and that's when you will. Okay, Leno, my mind is uh, open about it. I understand this concept now, so I'm trying to get out of my mind, you know? I'm not trying. I am. <laughs> I want to say that word. Yes. Correct. <laughs> Thank you very much, and much love. I love you so much. Much love to you, Noha. Thank you. Okay, we had a question from Slava. Not yes. to drop, but I'm still going to read the question. Yes. Okay, he says, hello to Kerr. Hello. Could you please share any updates about my hybrid children? I wonder when my hybrid daughter was born and what hybrid she will be. Thank you. I will speak to him on that on a personal level. I will get in contact with him in a personal level. But his daughter, Anna, is doing very, very well and she continues to grow. She is interested in the video, uh, all sorts of movies, videos, and holographic projections that give great understanding and teach many things. She is much like her father. To you, Thank you. Thank you. Brian? Greetings, Sakur. Wonderful day. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, I am honored to speak with you today. I, we have a beautiful celebration on Earth coming up with solstice on both yes. the northern, and hem northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. We are in this wonderful pattern in synchronicity with the solstice. And I was wondering, in your star system where you're at right now, what type of synchronicity patterns of celebration take place? First of all, it starts with the very birth of each individual. Our, what do you call it, zodiac or whatever, your readings that come from these kinds of astral things, are, it's totally different. It starts from the moment you come out of the birth canal and the sky is measured during your birth and that becomes your astrological pattern and it is analyzed and gives you much understanding of uh, what your life will be like. It does not predict everything. It cannot because there's too many things that are optional, shall we say. But it is part of the who you are and how you feel because the stars do affect who you are and when you are born the sky is measured at this point and that becomes your astrological space now with different solstices on our different planets it is important that we align properly because it does affect body water or chemicals in the system and therefore they it is celebrated as a time when change is most likely to come when things are most uh, adequate for positivity does that give you some idea it does thank you very much for sharing that you are welcome mm -hmm. Sarah Sarah, oh, are you yes. there? I'm here. Thank you. Hello to Kara. Greetings. Greetings. Um, I had a couple questions about my um, 
DNA infusions, and recently I've been feeling as if my chakras have been on fire, like burning. Like yes. Fever. There is much energy with you, Sarah. You have many different talents and things happening in your body. You have your part half whore and so therefore the chakras that burn are not surprising also your toning is changing slightly and will become more energetic and more powerful your chakras have been infused from the half horn race and therefore you will know this you have you just received fendorian yes that is what I thought. It will open all the chakras very brightly, but yours will open slightly differently with the half whore that's in your system. Okay, because the Fendorian some time ago said that uh, my Kundalini will awaken, and I don't it think did, I yes. that. Oh, it did already. And that's why your chakras are burning. That is the part of the Kundalini. Ah. Okay, thank you very much for that. You're um, welcome. And is there anything anyone wants to let me know at the moment? Like any being? I missed it, didn't I? Travel is coming in your future again. Um, I believe that you are uh, preparing yourself at this time. After these things uh, calm down, there will be more uh, awareness for you and more travel. Thank you very much for that. I love you. I love you Sonata? as well. Sonata, did you have a question? Yes. Hello. Hello, Takar. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Good. Um, have I been uh, holographically? That's what I felt the next day when... Okay. The holographic did not work for most people, but you were there astrally, and we did try to put the holographic on you. Now, it did fail, but you reached about 20%, which is higher than some of the others uh, reached in the holographic projection. So maybe you do feel that you were in some sort of a holographic form, but it only reached 20% and then dissipated. We are working on a solution at this time. Um, because but I you felt were aware that you were there. You were one of the few that actually did uh, come into the colonies even without the holographic on there. You decided not to go back home but to go into the colonies. So that's what you remember. Yes. Oh, that's mean the city that I've been there, it was a little bit holographically, but the one that came like a, a door, sliding door, and it was fuchsia lilac color, it just came, I was just laying down, not sleeping, nothing. It just came like a door sliding above me, and it was so beautiful energy. Yes. And I just like hop, I just disconnect. And I saw myself like a huge, big, like 10, 12 feet bed. And I was on that bed. There was the two children. I asked them to get off because I was just laying, you know, just uh, fixing the bed. And then my cat jumped in. And I got excited. And then someone from my back said, he's your son. And when I turned, I saw um, very... Uh, handsome Liran, which appearance was like a white leopard or white jaguar, and the eyes was bluish tint of greenish. And yes. I put my head on, I don't know, it's, I, it, I think it's he, on his shoulder, and I felt physically his body and the hair, everything. Yes. Who was he? <laughs> he was your son, but it it is during the exchange of uh, the names that was a ceremony that you were at actually. So it was an ex it was an exchange of the Lyran name for the human name, 
uh, you may not even be aware of it, but you were there at the cer ceremony that he accepted you as his mother because he is now aware of all different things that are happening. These ceremonies happen frequently because there are a lot of children being born in the in, in being hybridized and born on Era and on the ships and on several other planets. So yes, that was a ceremony that you were at, and it is customary that you embrace. Um, and the next question is on July. Um, my third eye opened, and I saw like more like physically Liran sitting on a beautiful chair, like um, Renaissance style. But I felt like background was uh, uh, like he's in an underground earth. Uh -oh. And I saw every detail of him, the fur, the, there is no, nothing on him, just, just I saw his fur, the colors, everything. And then he showed to me his hand and then the, the fingers, I had four fingers and he pointed middle finger to me. It's like up to, and I did not understood that. It makes me look. Uh, the middle uh, finger is the attunement figure finger for Reiki. Re he was telling you about his energy systems. But do you know that being? Who's that? That was Kalakashruta. Wow. Thank you very much, Sister Liren. Thank you. Yes. I'll see you above. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Do you need a drink or anything yet, Max? Or, I mean, Jim? I am fine. Okay. Then, Carolina, you are next. Um, my name is Louis. Much love. Much love to Kerr. How are you? Who is speaking? Carolina. Carolina. Hello. Um, how are you? I am well. I wanted, I wanted to ask you a question. Um, do I have a download? You have asked for a download. Yes. You have asked for a download, and one is been given, but it is not open yet, I don't think. Not completely. Can you tell me what it is? I cannot tell you at this time because I was not part of that team that did this download for you. However, I believe there is an alien language in it. Oh, right. Oh, brilliant. Um, also, um, you told me my Pleiadian sister's name. Can you repeat that name for me because I've lost it? <laughs> we will talk about that later. Okay, okay, I see. And um, finally, um, I'm, I'm trying to practice my telepathy um, and I was wondering if you could send me images um, so I can so I can practice please yes there will be some things happening with many people we uh, send some uh, telepathic readings for some to learn and for some to experience and many have picked them up and tell us about that when they have readings or whatever and they have received many of these different telepathic messages oh thank you well um i i'm just beginning to practice so i'm not sure i, I don't think i'm very good at it but i'd love to receive more images please do not be negative on yourself you are just okay. Reach out for the positive aspects of it because you will receive a positive confirmation on these things in in the time that is necessary. Practice is necessary for you to be able to find the place in your brain to receive the messages and to interpret them. Oh, brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> I love you as well. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Ash, are you ready? Yes. Hey, Tucker, it's Ash. Hello, Ash. How are you? Wuha, I'm good. Wuha. Um, I had a question. If you could confirm, I believe I'm receiving a Draco infusion, um, but I'm not sure. A draconian infusion 
is possible, but unlikely. But let me check. Okay, thank you. Kori apasha tienda kahwa. Tasha kubata turrite. Information is that you are indeed receiving an infusion, a very small one from draconian species. Be very careful with that. There is a period of time when you go through the draconian adolescence where your brain will become very fuzzy and you will not be able to uh, work as efficiently as necessary. So that period can last from anywhere from three months to a year. So be very careful to only take a very small amount of the draconian infusion. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you, because it, it has drained uh, a lot of my energy, but I'm yes. hopeful Draconian that is a reptilian, well, draconian, reptilian, uh, those creatures of that nature, the dragon... Uh, species can be very harmful to the human body if the, too much is given. Very Only ask for a very small infusion because it can be very difficult. Yes, you feel the draining already of the, the draconian infusion? Yes, uh, but I'm hoping that it will balance me, that it will have positive effects, you know, once it's done. There will be positive effects after the adolescence. Okay. It will take some time. You see, no matter when you get the draconian, what age you get it, you, you have to go through the draconian adolescence, which causes a, a brain fuzziness and lack of clarity. And so that is why I, I caution about it, because I had seen one person from the Netherlands who went through an entire year of this and lost his job because he could not concentrate and he had because he had a reptilian infusion but it was a greater percentage it was like eight percent and it was much too much for him okay so do you recommend it for me a very you you've already gotten some of it it cannot be taken away so therefore I would cease to have any more put in okay awesome you will reap the benefits of it eventually a higher IQ and greater clarity after the adolescence however going through the adolescent period can be very very hard on humans yes awesome all right thank you so much that was pretty much it very Much well. love to Kerr. Thank you. Okay. Much love to you as well. Thank you, Max. Diaka. Max. Hello to hello to Kerr. This is Wendy. Wendy. Um Kirewa. I just wanted to I've been feeling some um well first of all, can you tell me a little um ha, ha, about the the completion of my Shikani infusion um, is it completed? And if so, can you tell me anything about it? And yes, it is completed and activated. You should be experiencing some even greater excitement than you usually do. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> yes, I am. I am. Um, that's why I, I um, wanted to ask you about it because I feel like I've been connecting with um, uh, the Oversouls, and I feel like I've been connecting with Eclipse um, a lot through, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Epsilon through the Moonlight, and I was wondering if you might oh, be yes. able to elaborate with that for me. Yes, you have been connecting to a greater and higher source than usual, and it's bringing you greater excitement. The Chakani also raises your IQ exponentially, which means that it, each person it's different. But for you, I believe that you are experiencing about a three-point IQ increase. Also, much more clarity of what you're doing, how to think about things, and how to bring energy into your life. You are also experiencing a spiritual uplift. Is this not so? Yes, very much so, um, especially since um, the Arturian and the Shikani infusions. Um, and I've been feeling... Is... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, continue. I was, and I've also been feeling. Um, I don't know if I asked intentionally or not, but I've been feeling some Fendorian as well. 
Yes, there is a small amount of Fendorian added. This will ignite the Kundalini and bring brighten the chakras. As as the one other was saying, it, I believe it was Sarah. Her chakras were bur burning because of the half whore that was in her. But it does brighten all the the chakras and especially opens the third crown much more open. It also awakens sexual thoughts and appetites and physical um, heart emotions, etc. Appetites of the food as well. Yes, all of the above. I, I've been experiencing all of that um, and I feel like I feel like I don't know if I'm getting new languages or maybe just a more clarity on them. Um, Actually, you're on some of your languages. There's one new one coming. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, well, is there any other is there any other any other information you can give me any messages for me right now? Um, I also feel like I've been remembering a lot more about being on the colonies too, um, in my yes. dream states and a lot of astral travel in general. Um, yes. That is because you have grounded yourself better these days. You're you'll. Your husband has helped you to ground better. Yes, he has. Um, he has been a, a key to your moving forward <laughs> in, at this point. Yes, that's true. That's he true. is giving you a great permission slip to be all that you can be. Yes, yes, he is. Thank you very much. Um, uh, and if there, so, if there's any other information um, you could give for me, and uh, that would be beneficial. I had another question, but I've lost it in my yes. head, so apparently it's not important. Um, and yes, did you hear me? I didn't. You broke up. I'm sorry. I just said continue to grow in the way that you are growing. Let your energy move out from you. People feel your energy very clearly when they're around you. They become part of the energy field that is you and therefore you uh, bring people up. No one can stay very low when they're around you. <laughs> well, thank you. They eventually um, can you tell me anything about my Yael son? Not at this time. Okay. I understand. Um, and tomorrow, I was just wondering before I let you go, if you could comment, tomorrow is going to be a global meditation. On uh, the, the, Our Earth date is 12-12. Um, and there's going to be a global meditation going on tomorrow, um, all at the same time. And I was wondering if maybe you could comment on it because they're going to, I guess they're going to be scientifically measuring the energy changes in the human collective consciousness um, in the hour during this meditation and I was just wondering if you could comment on it at all. There will be a great amount of energy that will increase at this time. It will be able to be measured and it will be quite an interesting phenomena for those who are measuring it. You, They will also be uh, Many will perceive spirits and many will perceive other things around them that they will not be able, will not be able to experience any other time. Okay. I, I'm planning on doing a live event tomorrow um, for the meditation time. So, um, tomorrow is not 12-12. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Yes, on 12-12. Excuse me. My apologies. Yes. Yes, tomorrow is, I believe, 12.6 on your planet. Yes, you are correct. So therefore, yes, in anticipation for this energy flux, there will be very much psychic energy in the, on that day. Mm -hmm. Many people will be able to see things and feel things and understand things that they wouldn't normally be able to perceive otherwise because the, the density of the fourth dimensional energy will be high. Also, psychic energy will be released. Very good. Thank you, Tukur. Thank you very much. Makoto unto yakahi so no wakashi inatoyo. Thank you.
Mot a cup. Ticker. Oh, never mind. Go this ahead. Is Brian. Brian. Hello, my friend. I, Hello, I hear, how are I you? Hear, great. I, I hear you off and on in, in my mind. And I, and yes. I, 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 can, I just wanted to confirm that with you. Yes. I do speak to many humans often. It is one of the things that I have started to do within the last few months. Yes. And now I am speaking to people on a daily basis. But there are a few that can hear me. Yes, yes I do too. I, I wanted to thank you. Um, it helps gr ground me. So thank you very much, my friend. You are welcome. I appreciate your feedback. Much love. Much love to Kurt. Much Katyum. Katyum. Okay, Lois. Hello. Hello. Oh, good day. My name is Lois, and I'm Hello. very new. And thank you for welcoming me to um, to the human con. There is a buzzing coming from your area. Yes, we're having a hard time hearing you. You could have watched. Okay. okay, is is that better? There you go. Okay, and my question is in regards to receiving off-planet DNA. Yes. Um, parts of the question was answered in the discussion, and yes. I wanted to know the effects uh, from a spiritual health and mental, and if there a also a curve of time of where one may feel discomfort and receiving DNA and which also which species uh, the last one sounds um, some very intriguing but um, yes there one that wants to start off first or do their own vibration it depends on the individual and there should be mm -hmm. no discomfort in receiving any DNA <laughs> um, it would appear to me that you are needing some grounding you feel some disconnect from the third dimension is that correct yeah. Yes, a bit. Yes. Yes. So therefore, I would, uh, I would send some Lirin first for some grounding and for some body tone and for some confidence and things of this nature. Would that be it, something that you might want? Uh, yes. The Lirin will also help hair growth if that is necessary for you. <laughs> okay. Well, I do shave intentionally, but that's, that sounds good. Okay. We can remove it if you like. That <laughs> particular quality. That that be fine. It will be and fine. also, I see that it will cause greater communications and mental clarity. I would like to start you with that. Yeah, the clarity and creativity is my main. Yes, you do have much creativity in your world on third dimension and I would like to increase it some of it you're not even aware of yet okay well that sounds good this is my first one I cannot hear you at this point there is a buzzing sound Yes, yes that's a really loud buzzing sound. But thank you, Lois, and thank you for your thank participation. You, Lois. I You're hope welcome. that I will speak to you again. Yes, it'll be fine. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, Neil, are you ready? Yeah, hello, Tako. This is Neil. Hello, Neil. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, yeah, first thing I want to. Uh, uh, talk about is I found that I found that um, implant in my right knee. Yes. So if you could, uh, if you could check that implant and, and remove, could you remove it for me, please? Exactly. Yes, we will do that. Not a problem. Perfect. Thank you very much. One moment, please. Kukera washinti kapa tanderi abat tendi kushuti. They will remove it tonight. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, so next is. Uh, my infusions, so yeah, my Fendorian infusions finished now. So I'd like to take the next one, and the next one I want is uh, Elohim, if it's available. We will have to send out for Elohim because they have to approve you. 
yeah. it will be a three or four day period that they watch your actions and your motives and then they and what all the things you say and then they will either agree or disagree to send us that kind of DNA but I do not see a problem yeah. <clears throat> I'll be on my best behavior very well <laughs> Okay, is there, any, is there any message you want to give me? Uh, I just want to thank you for staying positive and that there are much things for you to do in the future. Keep a clear head, yes. Okay, thank you for that, Dakar. Okay, much love to you. <clears throat> much love to you, Neil. Angela? My question is, um, when you were talking about the holographic and only so much percent gets on the person, what is your goal? What percent, how high did you want the percent to go? 100. Thank you very much. In order for you to experience it the way that we would like you to, 100% of holographic would be involved. That means attaching to all parts of the body and all parts of the astral, the astral body, we should say. And therefore, it would give you greater clarity and sensation. Okay. Thank you. Did everyone hear the question? I think we're okay. Have we lost communication again? No, we're here. Very well. I'm glad. Okay, Michelle? Good morning, Chakur. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? Much love. Um, I am well, thank you. Um, I've had an interesting week. Um, my very close human, David, can you tap into that energy? Yes. Okay. Um, has had a couple of uh, experiences where he doesn't remember. He seems to black out. And what seems to happen is his brain is overtaken by like maybe a fractal of something else. A dark, it feels dark, and he starts either repeating almost like a robot with a software malfunctioning, repeating things in circles, um, or and they have to do with self-hate and or starts yelling at himself with self-hate talk. And um, I asked my daughter to scan his energy, and she got three strong impressions. The first was manufactured self-hate, number two, malfunctioning DNA, and three, mantis. Are you able to speak to this and my role in it? As you told me in our Reiki class, there were some people in my life who could only be healed by myself. Is this true in this case, and to what degree should I focus my energy on this? I would have to analyze the information a little more. However, what I see from the first part is that it is a negative energy and that it is something that he has brought on himself. He has brought this to him for a particular purpose. Now, I do not know what that purpose is. I mm -hmm. do not know. The mantis portion does not seem quite right to me, but it is insectoid. It may not be mantis, but yeah. it might be insectoid. I could be mistaken. So I am thinking that uh, the mantis portion is not correct. Okay. But everything else seems to be correct. Right. But I would have do to... Do I have a role in this, i.e., like... Yes, you do. Okay. But it will have to be explained to you after I discover all the things that are happening. Okay, so should we have a private session with you? We should probably talk, yes. Okay. Um, my second, would you be the most appropriate person with whom to have this conversation? It would be either myself or Grindel. Okay, thank you. Also, I would like to know if you have any messages for me to help me grow and remember who I am. Yes. Um, okay, thank you. Sometimes you feel bombarded. Remember to put your shields up about some emotional issues. You do feel you are a positive individual and are more positive now than you have been for a great deal of time. 
keep moving in that positive way you are being very helpful to those around you and will continue to be helpful to those around you but you must stay focused and grounded you are very intelligent when it comes to making wise decisions at this time I do not see that in the past <laughs> amen <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, the other last question I have, uh, do you think it is appropriate in your estimation that I engage in any other DNA? It could be very beneficial for you. But let what d DNA that has come to you uh, can uh, completely absorb Settle. into okay. your system. Yes. Okay. Because I think you're still going through some changes with it. Okay, thank you so much. You are welcome. I love you. Have a great day. I love you day. as well. Bye. Okay, Dakar, does Jim need a drink? I do not know. Can we ask Jim? He is fine. Okay, great. All right, Johannes, you're next. Hello, Dakar. Hello, Johannes. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Um, first question, can I request uh, Lirin and Fendorian DNA infusion? Not at the same time, but yes, they will come one right after the other. The Lirin will be first, I would assume. One moment, and I will check with those that are around me that do the infusions and see if you are qualified for both of those. Check a walk. I will get an answer in a moment. Okay. So I will ask another question. <laughs> it's like a funny question to me. Uh, it's like when you watch with your eyes, like normally you watch something and then in the corner of your eye it looks like a hair, you know? Yeah. It's not really like a hair, but it's like you, <laughs> you believe it to be something on your eye. What is that? Can you expand on that? There are some specks on the eye. I do not believe that that has anything to do with alien information. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know that it, this was about alien information today. I'm sorry. Um, oh. and One moment. Yeah. They are saying that you are eligible for Lear and Fendorian, but one at a time. Continue. If I have any chips that I'm unaware of, do I have any chips? You mean um, implants? Yeah, Let implants. me check. At this time, you do not. But yet, there is someone that wanted to give you an implant, but they were not able to. You rejected it. And who was that? That was the insectoids. Okay. Uh, I think that was all. I don't know. Is there any other messages to me that wants to come through? Or if you have anything for me? Not at this time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Love you. I love you as well. Okay. You're Liney, are you next? Liney. Um, Liney is not part of this call, but she left her uh, question. She wants to ask if she can have Fendorian infusion. What, what infusion? I did not hear. Fendorian. Yes, she may. Yes. Thank you. And um, I believe Gabe is after her. And he wanted to ask about, he had a dream where he died. He, he has a question about what did that mean or what was that? Gabriel. Gabriel had a question about a dream where he had died in the dream? No, no, you specifically took her. Oh, that I had died in the dream? Yes. This is because he has not had much communications with me recently. I have sent messages, but he has been disconnected. The third dimension has been very strong with him right now, and he feels like there is a disconnect, and that is in one way saying that, uh, that it, there was a death. However, I have not died, and I will not die, and we will reconnect at 
some future date, and it will not, not be long from now. Very good. I'm sure he'll be very happy about that answer. Thank you. Sean, you're next. Hello, Takur. Hello. Um, I was just going to ask if you had a suggestion for um, infusion for me as well, something that would benefit me right now. They would have to scan you. We are. I do not think they've scanned you before. One moment. Okay. It will take a few moments. I will get back to you in a minute. Okay. Is there any other questions at this time? Yeah, I have a question from Slava. Yes. I think we asked it. Oh. Well, we had uh, Sorry. Can I go? Yes, Sean, uh, you're next. Me? Shin? Is this Sean? Yes, Shin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sean. All right. Uh, hi, Tech. No, this is Shin. Tucker. Shin. Ah, Shin. Shin. Hello. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm very well. My first, great, great. Uh, my first question is for uh, Mark from Quebec. Uh, do you have any message for him? Mark from Quebec. One moment. Yeah. I will have to get in contact with him. He's through the spirit energy. One moment. What I see is that he is needing to be a little more grounded. Um, there are some aspects of his life right now that seem out of proportion or disconnected because he needs a little grounding. Uh, tell him to do the uh, plant himself firmly in the earth. Um, bring himself to something of nature and ground himself to Mother Earth. Great, thank you very much. And my question would be. Uh, can you t tell me uh, how my DNA infusion is going? Coming? It is complete. It is complete? Like yes. my Liren infusion? And yes. Everything? Do you feel any differences? Um, I think so, but not qu uh, like. Let very it completely definitely. Um, establish itself within your system. You should feel a little bit of muscle tone, uh, clarity of thought, greater communication skills. And I believe they, I'm not sure about the hair, hair follicle <laughs> problem, but they, have, they do, that does increase hair growth. Right. Okay. And uh, my second question would be like, I'm having really like really active sleeping, uh, sleep activities. Like during my sleep state, I have so many dreams and stuff. Yes. And could you tell me, like, if I, I have been to colonies or doing something? Uh, we have tried to bring you to the col. Yes, we did try to bring you to the colonies and add the holographic. It did not work. However, you do have some memory of that because you did go in astrally anyway. But about 18% uh, holographic took on you, but that is not enough for the state that we were looking for. But you, your dream state has been very active because of many visitations, many holographic, not holographic, astral projections, and you have gone to several different places astrally. You are seeming to want to break forth and bilocate in some form, but you have not done that yet, but you are working on it. Do you have any like uh, advice for that, like to enhance more smooth? We are for that. That is a, a a matter of free will and of belief systems. So we do not. I see. I see. And any message for me? Continue to move forward. Right now, you are doing a lot of very rapid growth in your thought processes. Right, right. And for my uh, galactic language, can you, like, is it possible to give me more, like, uh, translation 
kind of ability. That will happen, yes. First you must learn to speak it, and then the translations will come when they are necessary. You I are. see. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it, and yeah, talk to you again soon sometime. Thank you very much. Okay, thank Who you. Who had the scan? One moment. Uh, that was me, Sharon. And yes, you are able to take Bendorian first. That would be your best best thing to to take first for your DNA connection. That's lovely. I would love. I would invite um, that, please. One moment, Kirill on the Shiwata. It will start on. They're going to. Uh, Continue to look at your scan, but it would appear that next Wednesday or Thursday it would start. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Takura. And I have one more question, if that's all right. That is fine. Um, I, I work with some babies, and um, I'm just kind of conflicted on uh, wanting to heal certain things and also letting them be who and what they are. Um, so how can I... Do I just offer pleasant energy for them and what will happen will or um, if you could give me any on advice on I would do a intention meditation on healing with mm -hmm. yourself I do not see that you do much meditation but do it uh, sit still for a while mm -hmm. and do some thankfulness and deep breathing do a meditation that would bring thoughts about healing to you and the, the healing potential in your hands is already there within the palm chakras and the fingertips also have small chakras and the wrist and mm -hmm. therefore holding the child with intention of healing is very helpful okay thank you very much you are welcome okay we have a question from the chat and is unable to connect to a microphone his name is yes. Clyde971, and he asks, Greetings. What could I improve to connect to my higher self? Right now, yes, improve your meditations. Uh, one thing about human meditations is sometimes they do not get very they do not get grounded enough and so they cannot pull enough energy down from higher realms so if you ground yourself in the third into the third dimension which you were born into this means to bring in as much density as possible to start with because that is where you are born from also connect your heart and third eye with your soul and create the power triangle there and then you can actually start to meditate intentionally about bringing in the higher self and the spirit guides there is much more instruction that was very simply that was a very simple outline of what I believe will help for you Thank you. You're he gorgeous. just wanted to know if you had any messages for him. What was the name? Clyde971. Yeah. Yes. This is the beginning of something for you. There is something starting in your life. I'm not sure what it is. But it is a time of spiritual growth as well. And I believe that you are searching diligently or or rather diligently, for some answers to some questions that is about your personal self and about your life. You want to know some things about yourself that will let you know where you're going to be in the future. So continue. There's, there's a rather a lot of energy around you that is conflicting. So it makes it hard to read. Does he agree that that is what is happening. I'm having trouble connecting. Yes, he says yes. Thank you so Very much, Takur. Very much. Thank you. Okay, Barbara, are you ready? Hello, Takur. Yes, how are you? I am very well, thank you. Um, my question is, um, have my DNA infusions started and from which species? One moment. Kirawaka Shanti. 
those things are not right in front of me anymore. They have changed the panels and locations of information to make it more efficient. One more one. Kijukwa. You have started some Pleiadian. Very good. Um, uh, when will it be activated? It will be activated starting tomorrow, actually. Oh, super. Okay. It will take about five days. They will do a slow activation on you, but it, it is already infused. Okay. Um, and uh, how can I learn these galactic languages? They are from downloads. We would have to send you a download, and if that is what you would like, I will suggest it to them. Yes, I would. Yes. And any messages for me? Just continue to move forward. Right now, you haven't even begun to start your journey yet. There, you may feel like you have, but there are some very exciting things coming for you. Ooh, I can feel it already. I'm getting chills. Very well. All right. Thank you. Loads of love. Namaste. Namaste. Okay. Slava had a question yeah. and yes. wants to speak to you, but can't speak personally. Did Very well. Do you want later to talk? Is that what you were saying before? I will speak to him later, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then we have Sarah. Hello again, Takara. Hello. Um, okay. I feel like there is a vein or something trying to connect with me at the moment. One moment and I will check with you. Takara. There is. Are you not allowing the connection? I, I allow the many connections. I just new names and concepts come to my mind all the time. This is a very high spiritual being, and we may not be able to connect with you on the same plane that you are on right now. So, therefore, I would suggest. He try to connect. It is a. It is a he. Okay. Try to connect with you during a meditation period. You will have much more success. Is he like a physical being or like a spiritual? He is fifth dimensional. Fifth dimensional. Yes, his name, is, do, his name is... His name is... Okay, I'm going to need to repeat because I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Because I was going to ask another question, but then this started flaring up. Very well. It might be that he is influencing that questioning or that period of time. Very good. And I wanted to ask, um, I've been kind of seeing, I think I'm seeing like energy in the air, but I'm not seeing any colors. It's more like air drifts, I think. That is all right. It is for you to experience many things. You are not like the average human with the Hawthor being in you. So therefore, it, you will experience some of the things that they experience because now you have a, a, a higher self or a spirit guide, I believe, that is Hathor. Yes, yes. And so you will be interdimensional at some period in your life, which is very unusual. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, Sharon has another question. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Valerie. Um, yes, I was just going to ask for my mother sitting here next to me. Um, it's regarding like emotions, and uh, she's been explaining that she's having difficulty feeling like they're they're just kind of trapped and it's been like years and she feels like she can't express them or get them out I understand this is a human condition and <laughs> I, I understand it completely I want mm -hmm. you to connect with her physically hand in hand and 
uh, bring that some of that energy into yourself and let it go out to Mother Earth through the other hand. But you will have to have a, a, a time when you can connect spiritually and emotionally and even uh, bring in the thought of a, a deity um, which I know that you know what that means. So I will... I will be helpful in that. Please call on me at that time. Thank you, Takur. Thank you. Okay. Takur, I yes. would like to know if you have any messages for me. And this is Valerie. Valerie, yes, I see that you have some... You had been working with some healing. One moment. Kurega Ashunti. You are very grounded at this time. You feel like things are very grounded and that you would like to start bringing in more fourth dimensional energy messages and that will happen. Continue to uh, feel... I'm... one moment. Is there something that you want to tell me? Well, I have been connecting completely, like, through all my chakras, and I just feel like um, I am definitely connecting with Mother, Father, God. Yes. And um, I am trying to put out as much love as possible to Excellent. those around me, and forgiveness as well. And... Um, so remained grounded then. And yeah. the thing is about right now is I don't see you pulling much ener much information back, but there is a lot of energy and information for you to bring back through the fourth dimension. And that's, that is where the confusion came in for me, is that you are very connected th through all of this, but yet the some of the messages are not getting through. I will be with you to help you with that. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, thank okay. you, Tucker. Um, yes. We are close to the end of the webinar. Yes. So we, uh, I want to invite uh, one of the humans from Human Colony on to speak to us because it's a request which was asked by many. So maybe you can bring up someone who can share their experience of going and maybe give advice on how to how to prepare yourself for going and maybe how to help the process. Very well then. I will see if there is one on the colony at this time. I've been spending a lot of time in the main portion of the control center, so I have not been on the colonies as per se. Okay. So I will see if there are any humans down there at this time. And thank you very, very much. Much gratitude from everybody. Thank you. Namaste, and I will talk to you again some other time. I hope all your questions have been answered sufficiently. Thank you. Yes, to Sufficiently for now, yes. Thank you, Takur. Yeko wakashi. Yeko toko yamo kwasha tia. Ikura wa unda sushutu o. Konako. Ko. Mia kashu. Mia kashu ito. Thank <laughs> you. 